which we've been covering for decades now at the center of a new podcast. A mom in prison convicted of killing her own baby. Due back in the courtroom very soon. Investigator Sarah Goldenberg takes us inside this particular investigation. Giaga's child solved 26 years later thanks to new DNA technology. She has a sneak peek of our latest episode coming out today in Dark Side of the Land. March 1993, a shocking discovery in Thompson Township. A baby boy found dead in the middle of a gravel road. A massive investigation into who he was and what happened to him turned up no answers. Years passed and the case went cold until a new detective on the case in Geauga County, Don Seaman, decided to give new DNA technology a try, searching genealogy databases to find the baby's identity and his parents, painstakingly building a family tree for Geauga's child, eventually finding about 1,400 ancestors of the baby. The case was never closed and that was uh, through the due diligence of the investigators throughout the years that never gave up. This was never a closed case. Hear what it took over decades to solve this case, starting with hours of calls coming into the tip line in the 1990s. Uh, Wednesday night, there was a green, a dark green Camaro, and it must have went by 15 times. And undercover operations. Here's an excerpt from our podcast. Days passed without many answers, and the community held a funeral for the baby boy, calling him Giaga's child. Investigators used this time to do some surveillance of who was coming to the funeral. Uh, we are in the parking lot of St. Mary's Church in Chardon on North Street. We are conducting surveillance of all vehicles and or people coming into the services for baby uh, John Doe. Find out how the detective tracked down the man who submitted one of the baby's closest DNA matches on an ancestry database, eventually leading them to the answers they needed. Plus, a mother's confession 26 years later. That's on our latest episode of Dark Side of the Land. Sarah Goldenberg, 19 News. And Sarah tells us that Gail Ritchie will be back in court for her appeal on April 26, just two weeks from today. You can listen and subscribe to Dark Side of the Land on most major podcast platforms or on cleveland19.com.